Hey y'all, it's Michael and it's Vlogmas Day 5 and today I thought I would do a book tag. I was looking through my videos from the previous year when I did a Vlogmas and I was thinking of doing the same tag that I did last year which is the end of the year book tag. Because I've been doing Vlogmas now for a couple of years, I think this might be one of those uh, tags that I will do every year uh, during Vlogmas because I think it's just like a really good quick short to the point uh, questions about going forward uh, for this, well, for 2019. This tag was created by Ariel at Ariel Bissette. I'll link down the original um, video down below. And yeah, let's just get started. The first question is, are there any books you started this year that you need to finish? There is one book that I know I need to finish. And that book is The New Negro, The Life of Alan Locke by Jeffrey C. Stewart. This is a book I started a few months ago and I have been meaning to read it for months now, like trying to finish it. I am almost done. Um, as you can tell, I'm like on the last parts of it. I'm wanting to finish this during the end of this month because I know I want to include it in my favorite books of the year. Uh, it's so good. It is fan freaking tastic. The next question is, do you have an autumnal book to transition into the end of the year? Similar to last year, this question, uh, I believe it was like, she posted this in this September, so it's more transition to um, the fall season. I don't really have an answer for this one. Um, I'm assuming it's this. I, I mean, I, I don't, this one, I'm just, I don't know. I'm, just, I'm gonna skip it. I'm gonna skip it. The next question is, is there a new release you're still waiting for? Um, for this year, no. One thing that I know I kind of want to do more in 2019, I do want to be a little bit more aware of books getting released uh, because I felt like this year I fell off of that. Um, I used to be like really on it before, uh, but now I don't know. I, I just fell off of it uh, this year. But next year, I do want to be a little bit more um, present in that regard of like the new releases and whatnot. But there is one book that I am incredibly excited for next year and I don't usually, I'm not the one that usually goes to like Barnes and Noble and go um, like buy the book on release date, but I am going to do that with this next, with um, the new book by Marlon James. Uh, I forgot the title of it, but I am so hyped for that book. It is a high fantasy a la, apparently it's like, um, Game of Thrones-ish, and it's based on a lot of African mythos. Oh, I am so excited! Because first off, Marlon James can write. He can write. I've read two of his books. Uh, I read his, um, The Seven Killings, uh, The Brief History of Seven Killings. Oh my god, love, 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 love that book so much. If I had to, like, describe that in one word, it'd be, um, Furious or like maybe more ferocity. That book is uh, in your face. I love that book. Uh, he writes so 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 well. And the book of Night Women. I listened to that on audiobook, and uh, it is so good. <laughs> so I'm really excited for this for his new release. Like I'm really excited, and I'm low-key jealous of all the people <laughs> that got advanced copies of it because. That's what I'm going to be reading right now. <laughs> and I hope that book is thick. I hope it's really thick. And apparently this is the first, that'll be the first book in a trilogy. Oh my god. And plus it'll be like, it's perfect too because it'll, it'll also be the final season of Game of Thrones. Oh, oh my god. I, I know I shouldn't be comparing um books, but oh, I'm just excited for it. I really am. High Fantasy by Marlon James. Bro, it's gonna be good. The next question is, what are three books you want to read before the end of the year? Um, this, I have a really quick answer and that's basically the TBR that I just posted. So if you haven't seen uh, the second video of my Vlogmas, um, those are the books basically. So yeah, there's that. All right, the next question is, is there a book you, is there a book you think could still shock you and become your favorite book of the year? Um, I only have one answer for that, and that's from the TBR, and that's Washington Black by Esu Adujin. Yes, Esu Adujin, okay. <laughs> yes, okay. I think this might really surprise me. Um, I don't know, something about it, I feel like it could be on the list of, like, one of my favorites this year that I re read, uh, but for sure, this one will definitely, it's, like, high up there. 
it's really high up there. Uh, <laughs> from what I recall, I don't remember making a list of my favorite books um, last year during Vlogmas. Um, I'll double check on that, but um, I, I'll try to make one this year for sure. But yeah, uh, Washington Black, I think this book might really surprise me on how much I love it. So this might be, this is the one. <laughs> we'll see. The final question is, have you already started making reading plans for 2018? Um... So last year I attempted <laughs> to have a like reading goal slash plan for t this year um, and it did not come to fruition and I think the more as I realized like my I don't know <laughs> reading life <laughs> Reading life is not the right word. Um, I think the word is more of my reading habits. Um, I think I need to just like be spontaneous. No plans or whatever. Just literally go with the flow. Um, because one lesson that I need learned this year for sure is um, I need to be more uh, with my readings and with my reading anyways, like with the books. I need to be um, not so strict on like a list or uh, like more of a goal um, just go with the flow type of thing and it's and that's weird because I feel like that's the type of person I am anyways like I'm I'm just like go with the flow type of person uh, so I think my reading should I think I should take that advice and and apply it to my reading so yeah that's the end of the year book tag. Yeah, so if you have any comments or whatnot, let me know uh, down below. Or if you did the tag, let me know. I would love to watch your video. Until then, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!